Why are we against this, especially in cases filed based on political vengeance? Prestigious lawyers who charge hundreds of thousands on a daily basis have volunteered to appear on behalf of parliamentarians free of charge. We are unable to sustain them with payment. If these cases are taken up daily, they will not be able to appear on behalf of these parliamentarians on a daily basis for a long time. Are you saying that these politicians are poor and they are unable to hire lawyers? What a joke is this? How can the Tri Member Committee decide as to which cases should be taken up first? As per this Act, this court will function as a separate entity and other courts will function accordingly. Neither the Minister of Justice nor the government should think that we are against cashing thieves. What did this government do? They caught thieves for three years. Who are the thieves that were caught? They are going to hand over that job to the courts. It's not the job of the courts to catch thieves. The day before yesterday, you said that the first case to be taken up in these courts will be the bond scam. Where is the accused? The case will have to be taken up in absentia. Your side has the responsibility to catch the first accused. We had to cross over to this side because we spoke up about it. More will cross over if this continues. In the meantime, parliamentarian S.B. Disanayaka expressed views on the 16 parliamentarians who sat in the opposition in parliament yesterday. You clearly know that 16 parliamentarians crossed over to the opposition. The 16 of us don't have any personal issue with the parliamentarians and the ministers of the UNP. They are our friends. We voted in favour of the no-confidence motion against the Prime Minister that was taken up in Parliament recently. He proved the confidence this Parliament has on him. We have a duty to let them continue the government. We would like to tell everyone in the opposition that we are ready to hold hands with you in struggles for justice and move forward. We would like to tell the Prime Minister that we would help the correct things you do while being in the opposition. Prime Minister said during the May Day rally recently that 6.75 billion rupees of the Samurdi Bank has disappeared. Forget that sum. Even if 675 cents have disappeared, it's a fault. We asked the Prime Minister to take immediate action on it. There were speakers and deputy speakers who were in opposition. Therefore, if Tilanga and our party want, he can continue to be the deputy speaker.